to give honor to God. I want to give uh, honor to Pastor Sneed and um, Ben Washington Church. I uh, just want to say thank you for this opportunity and just thank you for uh, just giving me a chance and always supporting me. And so I'm going to be reading from Psalms 139, 13 through 16. Again, I'm going to be reading from Psalms 139, 13 through 16. And it reads, For you created me in my most being. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know the, that full well. My frame is not hidden from you. When I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained me for were written in your book before one of them came to be. The title of the sermon today is going to be called, You Are Beautiful. Again, you are beautiful. My God. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the second chance that you gave us, even though we don't deserve it. Lord, there's a lot of things going on in this world, in this community, and just our lives alone. Lord, walk with us. Talk with us. And, Lord, just live through us so we can bless someone else, Lord. And just thank you for our loved ones. Thank you for our church family. Thank you for our finances, even though they might not be above what we want them to be. But, Lord, thank you. Thank you for our jobs, our family, and just thank you for our loved ones. So, Lord, just walk with us for the rest of the week and just give us the strength and the confidence that we need. For it's all in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are beautiful. Ladies, you are beautiful. Fellas, I know you might not hear this all the time, but you are beautiful too. I am beautiful. When God made me, he didn't make any mistakes. The scars that I was born with, he didn't make any mistakes. When, when I had blemishes or when I had missing toes or missing fingers, he didn't make any mistakes. When God made my small ears, he didn't make any mistakes. There's some things that we were born with that God intended to give us for a reason. He didn't want all of us to look the same. He didn't want all of us to have the same skin color. He didn't want all of us to be the same height, to have the, the same body texture. He didn't want all of us to be the same. He wanted all of us to be different because he knitted us together in our mother's womb. So he took nine months to, to create us. He took, a, he took nine months to say, hey, I'm, I'm gonna give this person this. I'm gonna give this person that. So he, he gave us all these things for a reason. He didn't want all of us to look the same. And then also, we are wonderfully made. So I just want you to just let that sink in for a minute. So when you, when you, when you feel left out or when you feel like you don't look the same as the other person, when you feel like uh, you don't equal out to the rest of the group, you are wonderful. You might not have everything that other person has, but you are wonderful. You might not um, compare yourself to the other people, or you might feel like um, you're lower than somebody, but you are wonderful. Also, you are fearfully made. So basically, you're just beautiful the way you are. You're just amazing the way you are. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with none of us. When we're lacking confidence, when we're lacking all these types of things, if our hair is not the right texture, if our hair is not the right length, if we lost our hair, we are still wonderful. We are still fearful. You should walk down the aisle. You should walk to the mall. You should walk to the park with that model walk. You should walk like you're a king. You should walk like you're a queen because that's what we are. We are made in God's image. And the scars that we were given, the, the things that we were given when we were born, it's nothing but dirt, and it's nothing but pressure. So when people throw things on you, when people talk about your scars, when people talk about the things that you have, that's nothing but dirt. And eventually, the only way that you can make a diamond is with dirt and pressure. So just let all that dirt and pressure build up on you so you can end up being a diamond. You want to end up shining as bright as you can. You want to end up shining as, as loud as you can. Let other people know, hey, I'm fearfully. Hey, I'm wonderful. God made me. God didn't make no mistakes. And then also, I just want you to know that you know God is a creator, right? 
God created us, and when God was done creating in Genesis 1.31, God said it was good. God took seven days to make the heaven and the earth. So when God was done making the heavens and the earth, when God was make, done making everything in the world that he wanted to make, he said it was good. In those nine months when he said, okay, this person is done, this need is done, everybody is done, when Robert was done being made, he said it is good. So when God says something is good, there's no mistakes. So when God said it was good, hey, no mistakes at all. So when you look in the mirror next time, say it's good. When you look at somebody else and they're talking about you, and, or you talking about yourself, or you or you looking down at yourself, say that it's good. And also, you need to remember that we need to build each other up. We need to put each other in, in, in uh, high standards. We need to let each other know that hey, it is good. If if your child is crying because they're talking about them at school, let them know that it's good. If if people at your job is talking about you, let them know that it's good. You might not have 2020 vision. You might not have everything you want. You might not have abs. You might not have thick, uh, thick hips. You might not have that uh, that man that you want, or that person that you want, because they, they're more worried about your looks. But let them know, hey, it's good. God created me in those nine months, and when I came out, it was good. Also, I just wanted to let you know that you're beautiful. You're amazing. When Jesus died on that cross, Jesus carried that cross from one spot to another. Jesus had that cross on his back. That cross was ruggedy. That cross had uh, spikes coming out. That cross was ugly. But Jesus rose up on that third day. Jesus was pierced in the side. Jesus had holes in his hands. And on, in, in John 20, 20, it says that Jesus appeared to his disciples, and he showed his disciples the wounds that he had. He showed his disciples the, the pierce that he had in the side. He showed his disciples, I am a Rosen. I have came back to let you know that these are my scars. I have came back to let you know that you shouldn't be ashamed of what, what happened to you. You shouldn't be ashamed of what people put you through. You shouldn't be ashamed of anything that has happened to you. Let people know the scars that you have. Let people know that you're not insecure. Let people know that you have that confidence. Some things that happen through life, we're going to end up getting more scars. Some things that's going to happen um, during our life, some more dirt is going to be put onto us. Jesus came back to let us know, hey, don't be scared. This is what happened to me. I got pierced in the side. I got holes in my hand, and I did all this for you. I did all this for you just to let you know it is good. I did all this for you just to let you know that you are a diamond. I did all this for you because I want to die for your sins, and I love you this much. Ladies and gentlemen, love yourself. Accept your scars. Share your story to those people that's insecure about themselves. Share your stories to, to your kids that's being bullied. Share your stories to those people on, on your job or just those people in the mall. It's okay to walk like a model. It's okay to let people know that you ain't really got it all, but you know you do got it all because it's all up here in your mind. It's all up here in your heart. Also, I just want you to know that we have to stay strong. We have to have that confidence. Within this past year, the pandemic has been hard on a lot of us. The ladies haven't been going out because they feel like there's no reason for me to go out because I have to wear a mask or there's no reason for me to get dressed up because Corona's going around. Don't let something, don't let no virus stop you. Don't let anybody stop you because you're amazing the way you were. And when you let something stop you, then that means you're going to let something else stop you. And when you let something else stop you, that means you're going to let something else stop you. But once God is in front of you and God is behind you, nobody can stop you. And I just want to give you that confidence. I just want to give you that push for the rest of the time that comes, your scars, the, the, the blemishes you have, the things that you're going through, the scar that you have from cancer, the scar that you have from surgery. Don't be scared to show it. Walk with that confidence. Be strong and just push that other person to let them know, hey, you can be strong too. 
And that concludes my sermon. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Ben Washington Baptist Church online Sunday service. We pray that you have been blessed.